Hey folks, um, just wanted to do a quick video, um, show you some more progress on the AKR-39. Um, did a little work today, uh, it was off work, so I did a little work on this. Um, today we did some color fill. Um, good old fashioned nail polish, it's desert sand. I know it doesn't quite match the Magpul furniture, but I can't find the exact match. This is pretty, this is about as close as I can get. And it still looks sharp. So, a couple of, couple of coats of desert sand in the, uh, manufacturer mark. Um, desert sand. Ooh, ooh, there? Uh, desert sand in the safe and, uh, like a fire red. Um, a little subdued. Um, in the fire position. Um, and let's see what else. Oh, we got uh, no step on snake. That's not going to stay on there. I just kind of put it on there for a goof, but yeah, it may stay there for a while. But what we're doing right now is we are replacing the butt of the butt stock. Uh, we're going to put, we're putting an actual um, uh, high density PRS extended butt pad on this uh gives it increases the length of pull a little bit but it also is going to help with recoil um because uh well, 7.62 by 39 can be spicy um so i already got one screw out so we're just going to go ahead and take the second screw out it's, this is super simple uh just two allen head screws <clears throat> Whoops, if my fingers would work, hand still isn't 100%. Yeah, the fine motor control is still not quite there. So, uh, take those two screws out, and then this guy should pop right out. I mean, this is rubber also, but that's a thin boy. And we want a thick boy. Come on. There we go. Boy, they like these big beefies. Oh boy. Um, before starting, make sure the weapon is unloaded, the chamber is empty, and the safety is engaged. I don't think that's going to be a problem. But I get why they do it. <laughs> Still, that's kind of funny. So yeah. There's the difference. Thick boy. Thin boy. I mean, this would probably be fine for me. Um, this is actually, well, maybe not. Boy, that's a, that's basically just hard plastic. Whereas this guy, that's actually rubber. That's, uh, that's, that's going to be nice. So, yeah, match up the holes. There we go. And they're recessed. So while I got you guys here, well, I mean, you chose to come here and watch this, but um, I want to talk to you about something that happened just the other day. Um, those of you that may may know um, uh, and follow other gun, gun tubers, uh, Scott over at Kentucky Ballistics had an unfortunate accident with his uh, RN-50 um, and had a slap lounge cook off. And, uh, damn near took his head off. Um, so I wanted to touch on that. Um, that just goes to show you that even experienced gun people could still have accidents. Um, that, that reading that warning made me think of that. Um, yeah, that was frightening. And if, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just Google Kentucky ballistics or search Kentucky ballistics in YouTube. You're going to find out what happened. It's frightening. Um, and I encourage everyone to go and uh, support Scott. Um, he's selling a uh, very specific t-shirt with a very specific saying on it um, in regards to his accident. Just put a thumb in it because uh, Scott is as much of, as such a savage that, uh, well, one of the 
parts of the gun, when it exploded, to hit him in the jugular. And he had to jam his own thumb into his neck and put pressure on his jugular to keep from dying. So his t-shirts that are your song just say, just put a thumb in it. So yeah, um, I, I, th I bought one. So, uh, yeah, uh, support Scott, be safe, and, uh, yeah, it just, wow, it, it's a, kind of frightening. But anyway, while we were talking, I went ahead and finished that. Uh, that's substantial difference. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a, actually, that that's actually makes the length of pull just about perfect for me. That added about a little over half inch. Roughly about a half inch. Well, yeah, between three, between a quarter and a half inch of, of pull. And, uh, yeah, that's actually going to be a lot more comfortable. And, uh, a lot more comfortable when I'm shooting it. So, yeah. It's coming along nicely. Uh, got all, got almost got the cags put together to uh, pick up that uh, upper. So we'll be doing that probably next week. Um, gonna get. Uh, still have made a hundred percent decision on whether I'm gonna go ghost rifle because um, I have my own bolt carrier group uh, or go Bear Creek Arsenal. Theirs includes a bolt carrier group and a charging handle. So, and if I go ghost rifle, I have to supply the bolt gear group and the charging handle. So, <laughs> I'm probably gonna go ghost rifle. I'm, just, I'm I, the the whole point of this is try and go cheap. Well, frugal. We're gonna go. I'm not gonna go cheap. We're gonna go, get the best quality equipment for a reasonable price. Uh, that's why this is going together piecemeal because I'm getting all these individual piece parts as cheaply as possible. Um, yeah, so far, including this bad boy, which I'm going to do a video on and how to maintain a bolt carrier group eventually. I'll probably do it before I actually assemble it into the upper. Um, all these individual piece parts so far, uh, including two of these mags, I bought an extra one because why not? Um, and even the, the uh, project AK mag that I've got that I'm going to try and convert to use in this. I've heard stories that it's possible and you can pick up a P mag for an AK pretty cheap. Um, I'm in under, I'm still under $300 at this point. And this, this lower is essentially complete at this point. Including if you including if you figure in the max with aero precision buffer tube and buffer Unless I have to change a buffer then the price is going to start going up we st And that still may be a possibility um, Stock with the butt pad the replacement butt pad, which is like 15 bucks um, the upgraded uh, magpul grip handle and uh, trigger uh, trigger bar or trigger guard um, that wasn't necessary, but I thought, I like, do like to shoot with gloves, so I thought it would be a nice addition, and it was cheap. It was like eight bucks. So, yeah, we're, we're in right, right under $300 at this point. So, and I'm going to probably sink another, and that includes the bolt carrier group too. Um, sink another, let's see, upper charging handle. Gonna put a, gonna replace the, the muzzle device on that ghost rifle upper and put an actual muzzle brake on it, but I can pick up a basic muzzle brake for under $20. Um, I figured my discount at Optics Planet. I'm still gonna get in under, under $800 when it's all said and done. Yeah. So, and that's, you can't buy 762 AR for that. So, if all goes well, 
and this buffer works out, we should be fine. If not, I'm looking at an extra probably additional 50 bucks for a heavier buffer. But I don't think I'm going to need it. So, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to leave you all with that. Uh, so be safe. It can happen to Kentucky. It can happen to you. Um, I hope everybody has a chance to get to the range this weekend. I'm probably going to hit it too. Um, so be safe. Be vigilant, as Todd says. And uh, keep your powder dry, folks. I'll talk to you soon.